One year since President Trump won the election, and the economy has boomed ever since. The Dow Jones Industrials has gained, to date, more than 28 percent, more than ever before in history. The S&P up 21 percent, the Nasdaq with gains of nearly 30 percent, 31 percent since Election Day a year ago. Uh, remarkable. Five and a half trillion dollars in market capital added. The economy expanding 3 percent in the third quarter, meeting exceeding the president's target for growth for two straight quarters now. And unemployment at 4.1 percent, that's the lowest level in nearly 17 years. And President Trump has followed through on promises to pull out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, so-called free trade agreement, the Paris Climate Agreement. His Supreme Court nominee, Neil Gorsuch, successfully confirmed to the high court and considered the most important jurist to join the court since Antonin Scalia. President Trump also taking steps toward building the border wall despite resistance from Congress and clocking establishment elites. Eight wall prototypes recently completed. Despite all of the president's accomplishments and achievements, Congress has yet to support the president's agenda. They failed to repeal and replace Obamacare despite promising to do so for seven years. And now, tax reform. The House and Senate appear absolutely conflicted and confused about their own tax reform legislation and what to do now. Tax cuts in jeopardy for the middle class and business. Republicans in the House and the Senate should not miss what I believe to be a very clear signal of yesterday's elections. Voters have had it with establishment figures, their failures, and the status quo. Depart from President Trump's populist policies and Democrats will take the House next year. Perhaps the Senate as well. The question then is this. Will Republican Senate and House leaders have the sense? Will they have the judgment to end their obstruction of the president and support him and his policies? Their careers, their future, and the nation's well-being depend upon the answer. Voters won't settle for less than the Trump agenda. It's that straightforward.